Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to download the RenderWow client for SketchUp 2015 or SketchUp 2016. So if you follow the link in the description below, it should bring you to this page here. And once you're here, you're going to want to sign up first because once you're done downloading the installer, you're going to need to sign in to further install the plugin. So once you're done signing up, you're going to want to click the free public beta test and RenderWow software download. So once you're done clicking this, you're, it's going to install the installer and you're going to want to run it and click OK. I agree and install. So it should only take you a few seconds to download and once it's done, it's going to show up on your desktop. And once that's done, you're going to want to close it, minimize, minimize, and you're going to want to run the client. So sign in. And this is the RenderWow rendering cloud where you're able to send your renderings and your your scenes to. And before anything else, please click this icon and choose whatever version of SketchUp you have. So I have SketchUp 2016, so I'm going to be installing that one. So once you're done installing it, it's going to show this tutorial guide on how to send your renderings to the render cloud but I'll be posting a, a tutorial on how to send your renders to the render cloud more in depth and what else you can do with RenderWow that could help you with your projects as well. So once that's done, close it and run your SketchUp. So I actually have a few plugins already installed so my SketchUp's already is going to take a few seconds to load so once that's done loading it's going to show up in your extensions and render well so once that's done you're going to want to I'll show you quickly on how to do it so add your scene and you're going to want to go to your settings for V-Ray and go into your output and save output to your desktop. Let's do it. Test one, save, close, and extensions, render wow and render. Okay. And let's do test one again. Now you're going to always want to save it to your desktop, otherwise, it's not going to work. So always click desktop, save, and it's going to say here exploring the model, submit cloud rendering job successfully. And once that's done, it's going to sh show up into your render cloud. And there's going to say status uploading, so it's uploading to the servers. Once that's done, it's going to start rendering. You're going to be able to view your renders, but since this is a very small rendering that doesn't require many materials or complicated line weights, it's you're not going to be able to view the progress so if it was much if it was a larger rendering see it's done already you'd be able to view the progress of your renders and where it is and then once it's done it's going to download to your desktop so once that's all done it should show up here so there you go so stay tuned for the next tutorial on how to properly use the RenderWild client and thanks for watching.